Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to Physics 30, Lesson 1, Conservation of Momentum. Actually, Chapter 1, Lesson 1, Conservation of Momentum. Outcome today, we're going to define momentum as a vector quantity equal to the product of the mass and the velocity of an object. Now, before we get on, some definitions. What is conserved? Well, conservation of mass. Antoine Lavoisier in the 16th century said the mass of the reactants in a chemical reaction chemical reaction is the same as the mass of the products. Now, conservation of energy. Gottfried Leibniz, Leibniz, Leibniz in the 16th century said the sum of all energy in an isolated system remains the same. Now this is energy is never created or destroyed, just changed in form. So that is chemical and energy. Now, mass and energy are not the only things that are conserved. There's yet another quantity. 1000 AD, Sinna described a quantity called impetuous, which is the weight multiplied by speed. 15th century, Descartes, René Descartes, called the same mass times velocity quantity a fundamental force of nature. 16th century, Galileo called the qual quantity impetio. 18th century, Newton called the quantity motus. Newton. Okay? We now call it momentum technically linear momentum. If you study this in university, you realize momentum going in a circle is something different. Anyway, now, this is P equals M times V. Now, P is momentum in kilogram meters per second. The mass is kilograms, and V is velocity meters per second. And notice it is a vector, little arrows that I continually forget to write. So note, one, all objects in motion have momentum all objects in motion. Momentum is a vector quantity. Vector has an amount, magnitude, and direction. And momentum is a product of velocity. But in real life, velocity is almost never constant. So in most cases, it's more correct to say we're working uh, out instantaneous or momentum or the momentum at one instant. So that is all vector and instantaneous. Okay, so let's do a couple questions. The six kilogram cart moves east at two meters a second. What's the momentum? Now, I have to draw a diagram. There's the cart moving. The formula momentum is mass times velocity, and this is the first and last time I'm going to remember the vector errors. So the momentum is six kilograms times 2 meters a second, 12 kilogram meters per second. That's the units for momentum. It doesn't have its own fancy unit, like joules for energy or newtons for force. It's momentum, kilogram meters per second. Now, if Kyle throws the cart so it's a momentum of 25 kilogram meters per second north, what's the cart's new velocity? So notice it's moment, it is a vector, we have a direction, and we have an amount. Anyway, so there we go, going that way. Momentum is mass times velocity, and we're looking for the new velocity. So I can rearrange the formula. Velocity is momentum divided by mass, which is fine. So the new momentum is 25 kilogram meters per second. The mass is still 6 kilograms, it's just double checking, it's part A. Yes, the six kilogram cart. So that comes out to be 4.16666, 4.17 meters per second, or 4.2 meters per second, depending how you round it off. Probably two decimal, oh, sorry, probably two significant digits, the 25 kilogram meters per second. Okay? So that's about as hard as the, well, almost as hard as the math gets. Now, a second example. A 50 kilogram boy is driving his 220 kilogram snowmobile at 9.5 meters a second, 40 degrees north of west. What's the momentum of the system? Let me see, we gotta draw a picture. He's going west, and then swing north to make an angle of 40 degrees. He's going that way. So I have the direction, now the amount. Momentum is mass times velocity. So what's the mass? Well, it's 220 kilogram snowmobile plus the boy, so that is 
mass total velocity, or 220 kilograms, that's 50 kilograms, times the velocity, 9.5 meters a second. So that is 270 kilograms times 9.5 meters per second. And that works out to be 2565 kilogram meters per second. 40 degrees north of west. Now, I was going to say, because of significant digits, really 2.6 times 10 to the 3 kilogram meters per second would be the final answer. Okay? And I don't get too hung up on significant digits. Now, a couple things I want you to notice here. Force times time. Okay? So, that's Newton seconds. That's kilogram meters per second squared times seconds is kilogram meters per second. Same units as momentum. So, force times time is momentum. Now, this becomes much more important next lesson, but I'm introducing it to you now because it's a sneaky shortcut. All right, now, let's look at force and Newton's second law. Force equals mass times acceleration. Acceleration is the velocity divided by time. Change in velocity is v final minus v initial. So that can be rewritten as mass v final minus mass v initial. That's momentum. Okay. So if we look at Newton's second law, we can derive a formula. Net force equals momentum, change in momentum divided by time. Now, this means <coughs> sorry. <coughs> Excuse me, my apologies. <coughs> This means any change in momentum causes a change in force, or vice versa. So, any change in momentum causes a change in force, or a change in force causes a change in momentum. All right? So, a force of 45 newtons accelerates a 3-kilogram object, sorry, a 5-kilogram object from rest to 20 meters a second. How much time passes as the object accelerates? Well, draw a picture, the object, force applied, there we go. Now, force is change in momentum of change in time. Now, I get lazy. What's the initial velocity? Well, V initial is rest is zero. So V initial, so momentum initial is zero. So this is momentum final over time. We don't need V initial, sorry, momentum initial because momentum initial is zero. So, we have to solve for the time. Now, I can do V initial, V final acceleration, displacement time, but momentum is a beautiful sneaky shortcut because momentum is force times time. Mm -hmm. Now, or, sorry, solving for time, my apologies. Solving for time, time would be momentum divided by force. Let me see. So momentum is mass times velocity over force. So that is 5 kilograms times 20 meters a second. The force is 45 newtons. Now, sorry, I was blathering there. I apologize. Well, I blather a lot. Get used to it. Here, momentum is force times time. So I can solve for time. So this is 100 kilogram meters per second divided by 45 newtons. So the time is 2.22 seconds. Okay? So far, so good? Now, the uh, video is getting kind of long, so I'm going to pause it here. So if you've got any questions, read through the notes, watch the video again. Otherwise, let's go on to the second part, and then we'll finish this, and you can work on your homework. Any questions, shoot me an email. Otherwise, good luck.